I'm okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. You ready for the weekend, man? Tomorrow's gonna be Friday, and then, uh, yo, man. The weekend's gonna be here for us to rest and relax. Alright, so I can't turn on the refinery yet. I'm still dumping in a little bit of the water. Weekend ready. So ready for the weekend. Y'all got any plans? How are you? We doing alright, man. Taraja, I went to uh, get KFC today. And when I went to charge my card, it got declined. And I was like, what? It got declined? I'm not... What? What's going on? There's people behind me, man. I was embarrassed. So, I found out that my card literally just expired my credit card so i had to be like hey uh can you guys put that on the side i gotta I gotta go home activate my <laughs> go home get my my credit card that's sitting there i forgot to switch out my credit card basically because you know how they send you a new one before your old one expires and i forgot to switch it out because i was lazy and i just had the letter in my desk somewhere so i had to go back home I'd go through, pick it up, and I was like, ah, man. <laughs> Do I even want to go back to pick up my fried chicken? I did. I went back. Got my KFC. So it was it was mad embarrassing, man. Gaming counts as plans, right? Yeah, it does. It's not bad, not bad. You got to be like, oh, dang, sorry. I got to move some cash over from uh, Zurich. It will take a little bit, but it hits the, uh, after it hits the Cayman Islands. And then some dude, the dude hit me with, hey man, no transfers happens after 2 p.m. <laughs> you know that, right? I was like, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, Zurich is East Coast. I know about that. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Oh uh, man, that stuff is, this stuff is me. Being a West Coast guy kind of sucks. Hey guys, Sir Paul's with a daily smile. Can we get some smiles in chat? Can we get some semicolon uh, parentheses brackets? Can we get some smiles, man? People here, people everywhere. Can we get some smiles? You know what they say? A smile a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know if that actually works, though. Don't hold me to that. I see a Spellmore. And I see a J. Ritchie. Thank you guys for the smiles. Come on, man. No smiles in chat. Everyone's sad mood today. Alright, so... Guess what, guys? My colony is starting to run out of oxygen. So it's time to forcefully kick this on. They don't think be like it is, but it do. All right, it's time to finally set this up. One, two, three. And then, hey, Jay Ritchie coming in with the tier one. Thank you so much, Jay Ritchie. I see you over there. Appreciate the support, and of course, Enjoy the emotes. D20 does add free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate it. And of course, yo, man. Welcome to the city, my friends. Hope you enjoy your stay. Mordax, what's good? I see you, Mr. Mordax. How you doing? There we go. And yes, oxygen and chlorine. We'll have it now. We'll have it now. Needs all the Mamba emotes. Mamba emotes are good, man. I have seen a lot of people's emotes, and I will say that I'm very happy with mine. I'm very happy with the Mamba emotes that we have. Very good quality. I'm happy with them. Actually, I don't... Well, I, I did want to dump out a lot of the water here. But I guess I don't really need to, need to. It's only 600 kilograms. Nurse in a sore bag. Yo, man. Feels bad. Yo, man. Back sores, dude. Rest that, dude. You don't want to hurt your back. You hurt your back, it's for life. Nuts. I see a spell more. Other people's emotes. Hey, man. Taradra. You know what, man? They don't think be like it is, but it do. Taradra, your emotes are pretty good. But I've seen I've seen a lot of different streamers and their emotes, and I'm I'm happy with the quality of my emotes. Cause it's like I know how much I paid for it and it wasn't like that bad. And it's it's really nice. Like I've gotten compliments about it. So it's like, yo man, it's props. 
But I'm just saying, man, I've been around. I've seen some of the emotes people have out there. Nothing against it, man. I just think mine's a superior. I paid a lot for mine. Hey, man, I see you over there. You can see the quality. Had to get some hard-to-reach location. I had to go to work four hours early to get some work before the residents wake up. Oh, that's tough, Mordex. Are you doing anything special for this playthrough? I am trying to see if we could do ethanol as a main oxygen source. Because I need to see how much polluted dirt I need to generate before I actually not burn through it when I want to use that as O2 source. So as of right now, we're, we're kind of struggling. You can see that we're not very breathable right now. So I want to see if we could reach that balance. But before we get to that point, I have to make some makeshift oxygen generators so that we can potentially get to that point and survive. So I want to see if we could use ethanol as a main source of life, if that makes sense. Otherwise, though, I do want to do like a lot of things a little bit different. You know, I'm doing modular housing with that. I'm uh, growing arbor trees with the pips. And because of the playthrough, I need to make a lot of steel because I don't have gold, right? And that's because I'm playing on the fourth start. I also don't have gold on my second planet. So I'm thinking that I might do a industrial brick. The industrial brick or the industrial steam room is basically where you put all your heat generators inside an insulated box and run a steam turbine on it. Now, the thing is with that is you're typically going to need a lot of steel in order to pull that off. So I'm probably going to try to make a design like that if I can. Modular housing. Look. We took the rocket space for our modules and we put them on the ground. And by doing this, everyone gets their own house. And if I go inside, it's very spacious. It's kind of nice, man. So we're going to give everyone their own house. <laughs> it's a meme strat, but I think it's pretty cool. We're going to see if we could do that and uh, provide some housing for some of the select duplicates. Gotta run. Thank you for stopping by, Jay Richie. We'll see you next time, man. That's awesome. Yeah, right? So it's like, you know, just trying out some ideas, seeing what we could do that's, uh, you know, kind of cool. And then see where we go from there. For the most part, though, I did want to get a glossy Draco room, and I'll get that started soon. I just needed to start getting the oxygen generated, which I think we did okay. And now all we need to do is connect the water for the cooling. Oh, so I didn't do this properly. Uh, so it's like this. And then I need to go like this. So I need to make this like that. And then I need to make this like that. And then I need to shut off here like this. And then due to how this needs to work... I will have to bridge like that. This goes here. I deconstruct that. And then I also need a thermal sensor here. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Can you decorate and stuff since it's big? Yeah, I can. I potentially could give everyone their own private bathrooms and a kitchen so that they could basically eat in their own room in their house. <laughs> so... That's basically what we could do. That's kind of cool. They they could not... Like, we could make a cafeteria for everyone to eat at. But they also can have the option to eat in their own house. Or use their own private bathroom instead of the public ones. But, you know. Just, just having the amenities for the people. You know how it is. Oh, how is the heat transfer in it? Could you use it as a heat box or something? So, the thing with the rooms is that every time you go in... The room is technically in its own little galaxy. So you can see that my rooms are underground, and this is the surface, right? So we're all underground right now. If we actually go into the interior, we're getting hit by space radiation. So this is actually in its own little galaxy. So it teleports you. And yes, you can do that. You can use this as a separate heat room, as it teleports you to an alternate dimension. So that is a capability, man. Mordex. That's something we can potentially get into. Alright, so all I'm doing here is making a proper loop.
and then we go in like that. Oh, you could use it as a farming lo uh, local for mutations. Yes, you actually could. Except that you technically can't deal with the... Uh, it depends on what you want as a radiation source. But yeah, it is its own separate entity in that regard. We put the bridge there to wrap it up. Technically... Well, I want to wait for the sensor to be built first. Alright, so this is ready, right? So we're going to crush our first water. Dumb question. The heating stuff is only meant to be used for snowfall, right? Uh, yes. Although you can provide it for your non- uh, snowfall cities it's uh, something optional that you could have now the thing is is that even in snowfall it's not required because you could technically just make them use electricity for heating instead so the pipe heating or geothermal heating with the uh, heat insulated pipelines that you have in cities are completely optional even in snowfall because technically if you forget about it all you need to do is you know give them more power so if you want to reduce power consumption, you could do that in a, in a sense by having them have hot water used for heating instead. Damn it, man. I didn't crush all the water. Feels bad. And now we have polluted water in here again. Every time, every time I didn't want the oxygen bubbles. Feels bad. So we're going to have to actually drip water on top. So we're going to have to drip water, try to push two layers of liquids, have it both fall down in low volumes so that none of it pushes back up. And then hopefully it becomes a vacuum. Ideally, that would be what I would want to have if possible. Maybe make a switch outside to force to store the stuff. I can't do that. I, I would have to put a liquid in here to stop the room from off-gassing. So in that case, it has to be water. There's no other way. Okay, so this is about ready. Let's let this out above 24 degrees. Everything looks good. So it's just the pipe connection right here. Oh, I don't have power. There we go. All right, so this is going to be what's known as a closed loop cooling loop that takes out the water once it's heated up past the point and otherwise... Is this not connected? Oh, it's not connected here. There we go. And it's going to basically cool in the loop like this and it's going to yield to the cooling line Every time water leaves, water comes on to take its place, and we will have a cooling loop. That goes into a filtration process that gets stockpiled, and then we drop the water in here. I think for the purpose of this, we're going to have the water go directly into here, if possible. So that I could get rid of the uh, gas bubbles. And I guess we'll put the hot polluted water still. So there is polluted water that is rather hot and we should just get rid of that for now. I added this game to my wish list on Steam because of you. I want to try it. Hey, good luck, man. Hope you have fun with it, Deconverse. It's a great game, especially if you uh, play games like the RimWorld. It's a uh, very similar family of uh, games, except that, you know, the camera is a little bit different. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Ah, oh, look at this. Oxygen is back, boys. We're no longer suffocating. No longer suffocating. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, gas pressure is bopping a little bit of my meal wood. That's not good. It's getting to the right temperatures. 20-ish. And once it gets above 24, oh, look at that. It's cooled down already. This is great. These are going to be heat sources. Once this runs out of ethanol, 
we're gonna do the same thing by uh well we're not gonna do the same thing we're just gonna remove the rusty oxidizer right here once we run out of the ethanol that's cooling us so we don't have power here and that's fine we're not technically using it oh, there we go so there's the water i want to make sure we have enough pea water first so all that pea water there is gotten rid of we could turn this off now and then i'm just going to allow this to flow Now, I'm hoping we have a liquid of water on both tiles. Uh, I could probably bop this now. So we'll drip all that. And then we could come through here and deconstruct that tile. I could technically stand here and pick this up. This should allow me to have the water spill out by deconstructing this tile, and it does. Now, I could rebuild this. And this is, you know, somewhat decent temperature water. Oh, I got heated up by the hot polluted water already. Oh, wait. Nah, I have to allow him. That's going to push the sandstone in. Oof. Oh, it's igneous. My bad. Alright, you know what? Can I sweep this? Is that sweepable? Oh, look at the range. Pick up radius. Nice. Okay, so now we can seal that up. The gases are out. I could mop up this tile as well. I don't want to build that yet. I want to build this tile first before we push in the igneous rock again. Nice. Build those two. This is going to go to water. All right. All the water goes down. No off gas. That's a vacuum? Oh, we did it, boys. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so this works now. By design, good stuff. So, now we just have that here. GG! It works, boys. I can't believe it. Can't believe we got it to work. Alright, so now we have oxygen situated. We're going to have to replace the meta refinery soon, which I'm okay with. So, we should be okay to start... Hmm. I'm gonna do a meme strat. I'm gonna do a meme strat. So, where does this go? The chlorine filter. That's never a bad thing. And then we have the oxygen filter before it goes out to the CO2 filter. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, I am going to have a gas pump right here. And then this power line is... I cannot have... Oh, man. I can't use this. Some gold trapped in the doors. Yeah, I saw that. Some copper, I think. Trapped into the bottom tiles. I have to sacrifice those refined metals, sadly. All right, so technically we don't have the top Radbolt generator running, so I should be able to just afford this. Like, it shouldn't be that bad. And then it doesn't matter if I pump up chlorine or not. I already have a mechanical filter right here to remove my chlorine. And then we have an oxygen filter here to remove the oxygen so that only CO2 comes out. Hopefully that should be fine. And then we pump out the oxygen here. So we're just trying to pump out the oxygen and relocate it while filtering it out a little bit. All right, oxygen's back. Okay, now we need to get to the Dreckel box. Uh, so we need to do that. I need to trim that so it's mineable. I actually didn't need those other tiles, huh? So I need to deconstruct that. This is polluted dirt. And then we have a storage bin. Okay, so I do need oxygen generation in this side. I just need a location. If I'm pumping out gas here, it might be beneficial to do a uh, oxygen generator right here. Let's pop that tile. And... 
there's actually no really good location, sadly. I feel like at the bottom would be best. Oh, we could just do it here. Uh, the problem is, is that I have to be below this tile in order to service the polluted dirt. And it has to be from the left side. I have a rust right there already, so maybe that doesn't really make sense. So, maybe right here. I make some of these airflow tiles for movement. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. Let's deconstruct this. And let's start the design. So, the... Water lock is going to be on this tile, right? And then this is going to be the sublimination station. We have that there. And then I probably want the tiles right there to be like that. I need to have a bottle emptier here. I might replace this with planter boxes, to be honest, after it's fully grown. All right, so it's sweep only water any type of water from anywhere let me do a mop command just so we have uh water to be used all right man the ethanol is not cooling all right so that's gonna drip the water so two tiles here I should preemptively airflow these tiles just for a little bit of uh, airflow coming out with the O2. So we could go upwards over here and have CO2 fall down. We're supposed to have water, right? What am I using water for? Oh, they're still sending water to the supercomputer. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh... Oh, empty contents. How much water is this? 140 kilograms. Give me that. <laughs> I'm going to take the water from my metal refinery. I'm going I'm to rob my own met uh, metal refinery, man. Has to be done. Give me my water. Thank you. Now, can you use that for the uh, liquid lock? Don't... I, I hope you don't store all that in the computer. It, they did! All oh, these bastards, man. Okay. Uh... Oh, we got more water. Let's go. God damn it, man. What's the purpose? And why those drop containers with three doors at the bottom? That's infinite storage. That's what's called infinite storage. Basically, I could sweep any item and I store all my items in this one tile. I literally have hundreds of tons of items here. Like, look at my game start lagging when I mouse over. That's how many items are on that. So this is infinite storage. You put it on sweep only so that your duplicates don't stand here looping infinitely. Anytime I sweep anything, they bring it to this tile. Now, I put four dispensers so that everyone in my colony, if they decide to because everyone's idle, can be working on this. If you only put one or two, you're only not you're only going to get like a handful of duplicates depending on how much strength and supply skill they have. So it depends. Oh, this guy farts, dude. I'm taking the sweetles. But infinite solid storage. So instead of having rows of storage bins, you just have that set up. Have a good one, Spellmore. Thank you for stopping by, and hope you have a great Thursdays. Hope that helps, uh, Narruin. Let me know, man, if you need any more help with that. I, but I think that should be pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the reason why we have doors here is because the items have a decor penalty. You can see that it's minus 600. The problem is, is that on every item, the decor penalty is only one tile radius. So if it's in the center, one tile radius is 3x3 three three like that, and it does not affect anything outside. If you lock your doors, your duplicates cannot open the doors to grab the items. However, they could stand on top and pick up the items, or on the side, if I were to put a uh, ladder pole right here. But it's just infinite storage for the most part.
Hope that helps. Let me know if you got any more questions. I'd be happy to help you out. I did there, what? How much water does this need? This is priority five? How come you're not delivering to my water right here? This has got to be meme, right? Big meme. None of my water is actually getting to my water drop. All right, we're we're doing salt water, dude. Thug life, or even brine. Come on, man, just give me some sort of water to drop here, man. Do we not have any? Ugh. Liquid. I have salt water, man. I have salt water. Come on, man. Someone delivered salt water. Thanks. I thought it was something with decor. Is tricky. Yeah, decor ban. It's it's a lot of a penalty. That's six hundred points. That could ruin a dupe's day. <laughs> and my dupes tend to be idle. They need to be working. How come no one wants to? Oh, it's sweep only. Oh my god, I am slow. That's my fault, guy. That was actually my fault. I was being extra slow today. Actually, my fault. All right, so that's supposed to sweep, uh, spill like that. It's all part of the plan. No worries. Vibes, what's good, vibes? How are you? How was the days today? How is the Thursdays? So sweep the salt water. I got an idea. So we're gonna sweep to the bottle emptier. And the moment someone moves the bottle, we're just going to unclick this. And then the salt water is moved. Nice. Alright, so now I need this. Doing good. And you, sir, we doing alright, man. Just trying to uh, progress the colonies. I ran into some problems. You remember the modular housing vibes? I don't know, were you here on Tuesday? When we got the idea to do space for modules for individual houses for the dupes. There's actually a limit of 16 rockets. So each one of these is technically its own rocket. So because of that, it, it kind of sucks. Wait a second. I just got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh... I don't have room anywhere for the idea. <laughs> I want to test this out. I guess we test it at the top. I have an idea. Doing good and you, sir? We're doing all right, man. We're doing all right. We're not really able to breathe, but I think we're okay now that we got the rusty oxidizers over here up and running. Me during the streams, Uglarvis always sipping onto this juice box, taking notes, always wrapped up in a blanket. I see you over there, man. Got the music playing. Living the life, man. Living the dream. When it comes to Oni, I don't really know too much. I just learned. Gotcha vibes. But we're trying to set up a little houses, man. We're doing a weird roundabout of a method. But I think it, it'd be fine. Oh, crap. Alright, so I can't reach that. That's why we need that. Hello, what's going on, Milko? How are you? How was the Thursdays? We made a weird makeshift design over here. And we're using this to uh, heat up the uh, cold brine. And then I think we're okay with oxygen. We just need to start pumping it out. Start releasing the O2s. Looks like it's doing great. Mechanical filters for the win. And we're starting to get a little bit of breathability, man. Ooh, we got an achievement. I'm not going to look at that yet. Milko, how's the Thursdays, though? How are you? How was everything? Ah, ah, I actually can't reach that. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I need to just deconstruct the buildings. So it's going to be here. Oh, that sucks, man. Not too good. Oh, feels bad, Milko. Hopefully, you know, days pick up. You feel better. If you want to vent, if you want to talk about it, you can always DM me. But yo, man. If you don't want to talk about it, maybe it's a little bit too personal. Dude, man, hopefully we could just keep you comfortable. Make sure you have a good Thursdays. Try to keep the mood high. Try to keep the vibes positive. I 
I actually can't have this tile. And I actually need to have this right here as well. And then... I do need that. This is going to be a pain. Now I do also need a bottle emptier. Alright, so I need to remove these three tiles. So I do need that tile there. Oh, the concert got cancelled. Oh, that sucks. Do you guys get a refund? You guys better get a refund, man. I'd already be pissed that that happened. You best get a refund. But that sucks, man. What are you guys going to do now? Got to make some makeshift plans. At least you guys still have the four days, though. That sucks, man. The unexpected happens from time to time. Alright, so I do know it's these three and these two. I know I could deconstruct these two from here. I need to get water here. Salt water is actually fine. We'll go with that. And then we want to empty that out into here. Once we have the liquid layer, we could start working. I still need my deodorizers here. I have enough power on that line, so I should be able to just go like this. One full bottle should be good as it is. And then we would want to deconstruct these two tiles. I would build the ladders just because I don't know where they need to sand specifically. So I will try to get it to them. Now we need to get this building. And then now I need to get airflow tiles here and then here. We got that built. Second one's refunded. Playing as support, but called in sick. Oh, what? Oh, that sucks. Train ticket. Yo, man, those things like that when it happens, man, it's like the worst. Worst case situation. So I can't reach these two builds, huh? So how would I want to do that? Uh... Oh... Oh, that's a pain. I, I didn't- I couldn't actually build this yet. I need to deconstruct. This is actually supposed to be solid too. God damn it. You gotta breathe in chlorine, man. It's very, very sanitizing. No, the water dripped. That's fine. Alright, so... With that, I need it to actually have this still be solid for this to work properly. The water's in here or on the side, doesn't really matter. We're gonna delete that corner anyways, nice. So now we go like this, so that's an airflow. That is chlorine? What? Can, can we replace this? Thank you. Alright, so we have water here. So it's these two. So I went through today and played on all the maps and figured that my favorite map type is Boreal and then Temperate and then Tropical as in second. Winter's too white uh, everywhere in European that feels not special. Well, I feel you with that. I feel you with that. It happens. But for the most part, uh, once you get into modding, you could make all of them possible. <laughs> the mods are crazy, man. I'll say that much. 
But once you get into modding, man, you could do custom themes. You can start doing seasons. But yo, man, it's good to have your favorites and you know the differences between them. So why Boreal? Is it the color scheme? Or is it has to do with like variety of trees or anything like that? There we go. Proper build order. There we go. So this is a vacuum. This is also a liquid layer. Doesn't it matter how much water it is. Now we remove both of these tiles. And then we build this building. And we start processing the polluted dirt. I will bring this out like so. And then sweep the items if we can. And then I want my deodorizers to be a little bit higher priority. We don't need this here anymore. And we just need to spawn oxygen. Alright, so now we can make our Draco room. I should be able to get rid of this now. I need to make another area for the bleach stone, which shouldn't be too bad. I can just do it over here. This is a slow moving room, so it should be fine. I think Boreal is just nice and dark, so I like the uh, nice forest. Temperate and tropical have really nice, warm, cool colors. Just the right and pretty. Oh yeah, Boreals, you get the pine trees. Those are really nice. I like the pine trees. The base game pine trees. I like the winter themes, though, because you get more park variety. I like that about it. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, when you play the other themes, it's all the same parks. But if you play on a winter map, it's literally a... Uh, you get like snowmen, ice rinks, ski resorts, and things like that. It's pretty nice. All right, so we now we move this to here, and we move this to here. I'd be able to remove that, mop up the water. It's too much liquid. Oh crap! All right, build this, and then we'll deconstruct this tile. Nice. Now we can mop it up. Let's get rid of that. All right, cool. So now let's make our Draco room. For the most part, it's going to be something similar like this. We're not going to need the ladders anymore. Yeah, I saw that on the ice map. I feel like my eyes want to die with all the white, though. Yeah, man, you got to cover it with the pine trees, too, man. That's why you have the pine trees there. All right, so we're going to do a similar design. Three tiles, double solid. Then we do one, two, three, four. We got the door. One, two, three, four. And then we got one, two, three. And then we got the shared wall going up. Right? Makes sense. Now, this is probably going to go out here. Two tiles. I am going to need my farm tiles. Well, we're going to have to wait for them to catch up. Speed that up. We're going to make our glossy Dreckle box for this guy. Which probably also means I need to make my first closed loop uh, cooling storage. Which probably means I need to get a water pipe from down here and go up. Which is fine. Because I have a lot of uh, cool brine water anyways. So that means I need a pipe here. Ah, that also means something jank like this. No! Okay. I need to trim that segment. So I need some of the water to leave. We could always just do it like that, though, as well. So we keep these two bubbles just there, isolated. All right, so that should be fine. Let's sweep up the tile. Let's get the bottle emptier. Am I not sweeping lumber? That is... Yeah, we'll sweep plastic. Industrial, right? Yeah, we'll sweep the lumber as well. Nice. Just return them to the inlet. I'm actually going to make a new pipeline, actually. Which is the reason why I wanted to cut it. And that's going to come up to uh, the cooling box that I think we're going to need to make. 
All right, so this is somewhat okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Solid tile. And then we have a pneumatic door. Similar design. So it's going to be like that. And then all things like that. Ah, uh, then leave them. Yeah, it should be fine, right? That's what I think as well. And then we get rid of this. And the, well, no, we have to keep it, but we know that that's going to be where we're going to bop it. Can duplicates unload from a receptacle? They can. But I don't want that to be used by the dupes. Because I would have to do a 1 2 setup. Which I guess is fine. Oh, we have a glossy egg? Always lucky. They're cramped then, huh? Yeah. Pick up the glossy egg, man. Feels bad. Don't you have to allow manual use like the loader? Is it? I don't think it has that, right? I'll build one just to see. Okay, so I need to have bottled water on both sides. And the pneumatic door here. Probably going to want my ladder here. Now... If this is going to be the exact same size, I believe it should be something like this. I thought they were sweep arms only. Ah, there is allow manual use. That's perfect. So it's, it's basically just like the loader. That's actually not that bad. Dude, don't worry, Deconvers. The moment you start playing on a workshop map, you're going to be like, okay, workshop maps are the, are the business. <laughs> workshop maps are the business. The other end of the loader, yep. I use 81. I use 81 tiles. You're not stuck, right? Okay, cool. Alright, so this is going to be salt water, because I think that's what we have a lot of right now. It doesn't matter if I use regular or salt water. This right here, I am going to do the water lock setup. What oil? 81. 81 tiles, uh, the mod Deconverse is talking about. He's asking if I use a specific mod, in which I do. And we're out of polluted dirt. Ah, oh, man. It's never enough. <laughs> it's never enough polluted dirt, man. We use it up almost immediately every time. Take the algae. Alright, we'll just finish the one bottle. I need to remove this tile and this tile in order for the gas to leave. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Build. I could remove these two tiles now. I need a sweep. And then ladder here just to copy the design. Shearing, grooming, auto sweepers, critter drop off. Aha! This is taller. Oh crap. This is a much larger room. Holy crap. This is a much larger room. Because this is lower. Because I forgot we had a layer on top. And then... Sadly, I can't do anything about the spacing there. There we go. Now it's 96 tiles perfectly. I could get rid of this now. The lock should be fine. 
I need to build this on this side. All right. And then from there, eight critters, perfect. Sweep all the eggs out, should be fine. Loader, upside down. And then on this one, we'll have a receptacle. It doesn't really matter if I have a receptacle or a chute, to be honest. But if I have it here, I could reach by both of these. Yeah, I'll do it. It's probably worthwhile. All right, now I need to actually make a breeding room. This, I mean, not a breeding room, a shearing room. This is the shearing room, and I have no hydrogen there, even though I should. So we're going to want to move this glossy over when we can, and I need to start pumping out the gas. So this just comes out. So here and here. Not to sound too uneducated, but when you say Pog, what exactly is Pog? Pog is an emote. Pog is an emote. And it's a face someone made when something amazing happened. And it's like, oh my god, I can't believe you made that happen. So it's kind of like if a streamer says, I'm going to clutch this round and everything is, you know, against all odds. But he actually pulls it off. So what happens is, is that the people typically Pog. And that's the face they make. Now that Pog face is actually the name of an emote, in which case is why you type the word Pog. You're actually trying to convey that you're making that face. But that's what Pog means. It's uh, Twitch language, Twitch speak, if that makes sense. All right, give me my vacuum. Perfect. And then we need power. So we're using regular wire here. I could probably have both of these on the same regular wire. This is not a lot of power. I just need a little bit of this to go straight down. Ah, I can't do this tile. I would have to remove this, which should be fine. Play of the game. Hello, by the way. Play of the game is also, you could use that to describe it, yes. As that's also like a highlight moment. But I believe it came from the Mike Ross episodes with uh, the other guy. Like, that's, that's, that's where the emotes comes from. <laughs> that's where the guy's face comes from for the emote. All right, try to just vacuum out the room so we get the right proportion of the two things. I really just want to get rid of the oxygen. I do want a layer of CO2 at the bottom. And then I need hydrogen. That's going to be fun. So it looks like I need to make a room just to make a little bit of H2. All right, so let's do that. Looks like I will have to mine this out. We got to make an electrolyzer room, at least for now, because I need to get hydrogen. That's the only way for me to get hydrogen. We got to electrolyze a little bit of the liquids, and then we'll get a little bit of H2 that we could use for the Drekos. So I'm going to want that. We're vacuuming the room. We're going to move the Colossus into here. And then I need to make a room to do shearing that I think we need to put in the back. I think that's going to be fine. The only problem is, is that the chlorine here is going to be an issue. Your crude oil lock seems lacking. No, it's not. It's a vacuum, baby. It's purposely like that. Zero heat transfer that way. Welcome on in, wilderness. Hope you're doing well. If you got questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help out. New to the game, no worries. Ask the questions, man. That's the only way you'll find out that I'm doing something like a strategy. Otherwise, you would never know, right? That I'm actually using the vacuum to my advantage. 
Hope you're well also. Yeah, we're doing all right, man. It's Thursdays. It's almost the weekend, man. Can't wait. <laughs> Hope you're uh, ready for the weekend as well, man. I'll keep that just because I can't make the jump without it. Having issues with pressure. What kind of issues? We could help out with that. Pressure's not too bad. Once the chlorine gets too high up, we'll actually just pump it out, I think. And it wouldn't be too bad. I am starting to think I might want to vent out my chlorine into space. Because I don't have that much use for it anymore. Guys, what do you guys do with the chlorine? <laughs> I feel like there's not much you can do with the chlorine, to be honest. With your modular housing, are the inlets and outlets for power and water? Uh, power, no. Water and gas, yes. But we could technically... No, we actually have no power inside. <laughs> I just realized that. We can't have power inside. And the strategy is build a module. Feed it to the squeakies. Yeah, we could probably do that. No stews? Feels bad. <gasps> the water! Entomb the geyser. I should melt that. Or mine that. Alright, we need to get rid of the abyssal line right there. Air generators not functioning because pressure is too high. Says to expand or vent, but I have no clue what I should be venting. Ah, okay. So the air generators, right? So if you press F4 and go into the gas overlay, you can look at all your gases. If you're talking about air generator, you're probably talking about the electrolyzer. Uh, if not this, you're probably talking about the oxygen diffuser. So in most cases, both of those buildings pressurize at around, I think it's 2,000 kilograms. When there's too much air pressure in the area, the generators have a function to auto shut off and not produce. So because gas moves very slowly, what you should do is basically pump the oxygen and this pump removes 500 grams per second. And that's going to be way faster than having it naturally move. And move that gas into another area. In my case, this is my breathability. I'm generating the oxygen over here. And then I'm pumping it to the top right here. You can see that I have a uh, oxygen vent. And I'm using that in order to move the oxygen. So that's going to be something you have to do as well in most cases. Or else you're going to just have to wait for the oxygen and move itself. But in either way, it's going to be kind of slow. And uh, if you don't do that, you're going to have that issue you're talking about. Now, you could also look at the gas element to see what type of gases you also have. If it's a non-breathable gas, maybe you don't want to release it. Maybe you want to store it into a uh, gas reservoir, like I'm doing with my chlorine. And you would have to filter that out in order to do so. But by doing it, you could separate the gases, which is kind of nice. So with water and gas, is there much room for tanks inside the capsule and have uh, and then their capsule itself? So the it's it's always more space efficient to build inside of it because you just have more room. And yes, you do have room for multiple tanks, both tanks, water and gas, if that's what you're looking for. But yeah, no no issues there. That glitch got patched, Mordex. Dude, Jack Bull, how do you feel? Because it's like. Anyone is an upgrade on Dwight Powell, which is your current big. <laughs> Everyone is a is an upgrade. But Christian Woodman, nothing nothing against the guy, but he has had you know, people have said things like, "Oh yeah, he's not mature enough," kind of a thing. So I don't know, man. We'll see how it works out. But technically, it's an upgrade. He has good upside, good potential. He's young. It's just, can Mark Cuban and the team get him on the right mindset? But technically, man, it doesn't make you guys a favorite to be a championship team yet. I still think that either some of your other players on the Mavs team need to either A, get better, or two, you're missing like a proper, proper big. I don't know. If anything, you guys just are upgrading, though, regardless. So you guys are getting better. Nothing wrong with that. You guys lost Boban, though, dude. Boban was, was the face of the franchise. I sound like... <clears throat> I just almost choked on my own saliva. My god. But sounds like there is a place to store all the chlorine. Yeah, there is. That's going to be the top of the map. Yep. 
we're gonna just uh, dump it out into the space exposure. My English teacher hates your outline. What outline? What am I? What? What? I'm so confused. There's no way to get rid of it together. Just pick a place on the map and it's going to be... No, no, no. You could dump it into the space vacuum. The space exposure consumes the gas and deletes it. So, yeah. You actually have a place to dump it. That's on the top of the map. If you don't want to dump it, you could manually delete it with a design like this as well. You have options. You do whatever you want with the gas. Who's suffocating? Wait. What? I'm so confused, man. I feel like chat's talking about something that I have no idea what you guys are talking about anymore. Both Geek and Jackpool. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Oh, that's a skill required task. Uh, wilderness. The digging skill up top. Depending on what you're trying to mine through. Abyssalite, Obsidian, or Diamonds. You need the skill for that. Dude, man. Everyone loved Boban, dude. Fucked up part was Dallas had him at a Dallas Mavericks basketball camp a couple days before he got traded. That's messed up, man. I'm just saying, man. That's messed up. Y'all were trading him, and you still made him show up to basketball camp, dude. You said a statement and two statements. Wait, what did I say? What was the statements I made? Why no what? Stefan, what are you talking about? Why no hats? Uh, no, people have hats. They just have to choose for themselves. Uh, basically, the people in the colony, they are all named after people in chat. So if they're in chat and they personally want to give themselves a hat, they could let me know. But otherwise, I'm not going to force hats on them. But yo, man. Dude. Bobon's Bobon's Bobon, dude. Couldn't hate on the man. Feels bad that he got let go. Having me run around hat. You didn't tell me you wanted a hat, man. You know how it is. I give you a hat if you want one, but you gotta let me know. Farmer or rancher? Okay. Alright, you're a farmer, dude. We got you the good old straw hat. It's not easy to lose peeps, but moves have to be made. Need to get to the next, next level. It's a solid step with a good upside. Dude, man. You dump like, so many random players on the team, dude. It was, it was weird. <laughs> they traded like, five people for Christian Wood. It's kind of random. Which hats can I choose from? You could get the uh, databanks hat. We got that for you. You literally only have the uh, the mining hat, dude. At least you got the blue suit, man. The blue suit. Good upside. That's a 26th. That's not bad. That's not bad. Man. Yeah, and the 26th first round pick. That's all they wanted for him. I guess you get some veterans to teach how the young players how to play that don't want minutes. And then, uh, dude, yeah. We'll see how he fits in the team. We'll have to see. Tier 3? Okay, I got you. I got you. So that's super duper. We got the uh, miner's hat. We got you. Alright, alright. So let's get this built. I need to get this vacuum lock in. The pip is inside for no reason. Alright. It looks like I may have to start pumping out some of the gases from here. Now, the oxygen is pumping very steadily. Do I want that here as well? I could also just make a door crusher, because I'm lazy.
I mean, why not, right? Why not a door crusher? I do want to get rid of the Sweels then, so that they uh, have their own little place to hang out. I love the crushers. Yeah, it gets rid of the gas pretty, pretty consistently. It's not bad. I just want to start moving some of the critters then. Just oxygen. All the CO2 is pushed out. Okay. So I want to move these guys. And I guess we can move them all here. It's just that we have too many critters out now. Ah, god damn it. That two tile highway hallway. That two tile hallway. Lovely for one right here with the mealwood. I was thinking so that we get the bonus. It's not bad. I would have to seal it up though. And then we'll just move them all to the mealwood for the bonus. Sixty kilograms, not bad. All right, so we need to delete the seal too, so that there's no heat transfer, and that oh, they're done smelting. There's barely any ethanol waiting. All right, I'm not gonna smelt more then. Oh, joya seeds, top tier, top tier. We'll take those. Okay, now from this side, we need to start mining that out. We got the doors. We'll also put grub warblings and the sweetles. Capture these guys. Y'all got them. This has slime lung on it, right? Yep. That's going to be fun. So the heat up slime lung to kill it is 75 degrees. Is that what it is? It is 100. Oh, that sucks. That kind of sucks. All right, so we'll continue with that. We're out of polluted dirt, which is fine. Oh, this is done. We're in a vacuum. Let's go. So we can get rid of all that now. Nice. Now we need to put in some canister emptiers. And then I need to start making some H2. Oh, we're starting to get chlorine and oxygen. Nice. That gets filtered out. All right. I find freezing it faster, especially with that cold salt just pumping away. But it doesn't bring it cold enough. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't get it cold enough, though. Yeah, 10 C. For chlorine or CO2, they both have to be like in the 50s. Minus 40, minus 50. Minus 48. Minus 34. It's not cold enough to freeze into liquid. Not even close. Know the slime? Oh, that's what you're saying. I mean, yeah. I could do it at that point. I thought you meant, uh... Instead of just pumping it away, the CO2 and chlorine, just freeze it and store it as a liquid. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's a thing. What's the pip doing inside? Nice, cool. Alright, so... I probably want a cold water loop here as well. So... Let's set this up. Do I want cold... I mean, this is going to be the only way I get hydrogen. So we'll do the corners. 
And then we will do like that. So basically, we're going to do this priority. This goes out this way. And then... Okay, that should be fine. Ah, not like that. But instead, like this. And then liquid shut off here. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, it's such a pain. So it's going to have to be like... It's gonna be like that and then I would have to have no it still doesn't work right because it's in the way is there a way to kill slime lung disease on the slime block before mining it yeah temperature so just like what geek says you could take uh, ice right that's negative temperature and use a temp shift plate and build an ice temp shift plate directly next to the slime, especially if it has the germs. So mine out everything around it and build a temp shift plate with it. The temp shift plate ice is going to super cool the slime, and then when it melts, it's going to be very cold water as well. The slime lung actually dies below, what is it, 25? No, 10 degrees. So the cold water on top is going to slowly help kill the slime lung. If you do that enough times, you'll kill off all of the slime, but it depends on how much you have in your vein. So this slime chunk is a good amount. So because it's spread out a little wide, it might take a while, but that would be a uh, idea to do that. Cold water do metal tile. Yeah, that could work as well. All right, so we'll just do it like that. And... I see. So we'll have to cut this here. And we do it like that. And then we could have our shut off in here safely. So we'll have it like this. Uh, does that work? Yes, but I need a I need another line for this to work. Yeah. That's super jank. We'll put it right here then. And then the thermal sensor here. And then this goes into here. Technically I want a bridge here to have the water feed in. Oh, I need to filter it first, otherwise I can't feed into it. Ah, damn it. That technically means I should use this water. Alright, for now we'll do it. So, we could have this. I guess I don't need that to cool that much. Uh... That comes in from the bottom. It would be the same line though, right? Because this goes like that, that goes like this. This goes into the top. I would need a bridge somewhere. Right? And then have the direction go this way. And then have the water come in from this way. And then this water comes from the same line as this. Oh, this is complicated. So... Technically, that's best. 
and then we should have this come down to here. Can I reach this? I can. Dude, that's so complicated. I do want to take the water from up here, though, because I do need water. And then I need this to generate a lot more heat. Like, my goodness. And how's the ethanol over here? It's running low. We might have to delete this and move this over to here, which should be fine. I wouldn't mind a little bit more cooling from here so that we go through the water a little bit faster. Which would probably mean, though, I would try to do... Like that. Might as well use slime to grab the heat while killing the germs. Maybe. We'll have to see. Alright. Because of how this system works, I probably use the hydrogen generator to power itself. Damn it, I'm making a spawn, dude. <laughs> I ended up making a spawn. God damn it. Sometimes you just end up making a spawn, dude. Don't know why. Alright, once the ethanol runs out, we'll move the rusty oxidizer and it should be not too bad. Looks like the chlorine is starting to pressurize. This is good. We're getting O2 back where it needs to be. You can't build a second space for a module on top, huh? What if I pause, deconstruct? Oh, it still don't work. Ah, oh, I thought you could stack space for modules. All right. If I built a space for a module, and then I deconstruct the rocket platform, and then I made it so that the bottom of the space for a module connects to the top of my other space for a module. Is it two separate rockets? <laughs> if a tree falls down in the forest and no one's there to see it, does it make a sound? That's basically what I just asked, right? God damn it. I guess I have to try it. So, four, five, six. Right, I just have to try it. We'll see if it's one rocket or two. That's what I need to find out. Because if it stacks like that, and the game reads it as the same rocket, I could actually get everyone their own house again. I, I, just, I just need to see if that works. No, 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 that doesn't mean anything. But is it the same rocket? If it's the same ports or not, I don't really care. <laughs> But I, I don't I don't watch any of his videos, so I don't know anything that he does. You guys gotta understand that I don't watch other people that play this game. I don't watch their content. Because it's I don't wanna steal their ideas or anything like that. So anything that I like come into, you know, fruit uh fruitish, what do you call that? When you come to like the results, I know it came from just myself or people from chat. Because it's like, oh yeah, that guy did it. I'm like, I don't know how he did it. So I, I just don't know how that helps. He used the glitch to build 2x per rocket, but could destabilize the game. Aw, oof. You can double click fast and it builds two of them. Aw, man. That's a meme strat, dude. It's 100% legit. Let's go. We did it, boys. Oh, we'll just mess up the ports if that matters to you. Okay, that's fine. I don't think it's going to worry too much. I just need the game to pick up both of these as the same rocket. That's what I'm hoping to do. If it doesn't, yeah, GG. <laughs> we'll just have to, you know, have some people living outside of the house. All right, so that's there. We could wrangle this guy now. 
Hey, what's going on, Grandpas? How are you? How was the days today? How is the Thursdays? You doing all right, Grandpas? Are you having a good one? How do you feel, my friends? We doing all right. Weather's not too hot, even though I could feel that summer's coming. What happened to the pee water in the house? What pee water in the house? What are you talking about, Slayer? No house at pee water, man. What are you talking about? Aw, oh, Grandpa's no way. Hope it's not too bad, man. Stay safe. Hori Portier. How are you, man? Welcome on in. I think building one under other one works, but I didn't test myself. Okay. I guess we'll have to see. We will see what the game does. Oh, I need the tiles there in order to build the bottom layer. Feels bad. No, no, no. I, I that's 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 cool to do, but I don't think I'm uh, testing that out anytime soon. Not too bad. Fever, other stuff is fine. One day at work, take off after fine. Yo, man, rest well, rest easy, grandpas. Drink a lot of water. And yo, man, I hope uh, Leo's doing okay too. That'd be like the scariest thing. Alright, so we could put the hydrogen generator outside, have that power the system. Alright, and this is just going to be a regular wire. Nice. Yeah, a lot. Uh, he gets, my wife gets, gotcha, gotcha. We stay home, nice, nice. Yo, man. Hope you are prepared to do all the things you need to do at the house. How's your house? I don't know, man. There's a limit. So this is... So if I open this up, each house is a rocket, right? Now that's a bad thing. And that's because there's a maximum amount of rockets you could have in this game. So because there's a maximum rockets of 16, I cannot build more than 16 of these. So the idea kind of kind of dead. <laughs> Feels bad, man. The idea is kind of dead. So I'm trying to find out a way if I could make it stack a little bit better and not have it, uh, you know, be different rockets. Like if they're all are the same rocket, it'd be a little bit nicer. But yeah, it feels bad. It'd be like that sometimes. A double room. Yeah, I was thinking about that. But if I could get each one of them their own room, that'd be better. I see over their freight with the emotes. All right, so we're waiting for this. This is going to be above 24. Oh no, is it? Uh, see, the cooling is not that much. Maybe I have the cooling go outside back to here and desalinate it. That's probably what I should do, to be honest. Let me get rid of this. Liquid shut off. Which means I need to modify my pipe somewhere. Oh, I see it. No, it should be this side, though. My pips debating me, walks atop of seeds, doesn't pick one up. Yo, man, it'd be like that, man. The pips can be a little bit of a bastard. Oh, it's looping into here. That's not a good thing. Oh, now it's it's looping the other way. It feels bad. Alright, so... I need to slow this down, and I need to modify some of the pipelines. Alright, for... Because of how it is, I think this is going to be the easiest way. And we're going to move it out here. feels bad more pips can help by the way i love the project fun to have this is kind of fun yeah man you gotta have the uh different ideas when you do the playthroughs right just to keep it a little bit spicy i was surprised they think independently yeah you could you could there's a way to cheese the game but it's it's really weird there's basically how do i say this there's a way to abuse the pip planning mechanics. 
because they do think individually. There's no hive mind. They don't check across the other pips. But because of that, it's kind of nice. It's just that I don't think it's feasible to utilize the pips that way. And what I mean by that is the pips, um, you can make it so that they all plant exactly side by side. Yeah, multiple plants. You could plant exactly each plant side by side. But to pull it off, it's almost impossible. To pull it off is almost impossible. Yo, man. Mordex doesn't know about the new, uh... The new hot beans. Spicy. It's a new food dish that we got in the patch. We got curry, baby. Only way to do it. Alright, so now... Uh, I want to use salt water into this design. I really do. So I probably have this come out. Here. Actually, we should do it here. And then it goes into the loop. So when it goes into the loop... We do the temp check and then we have the water leave. This is going to go directly down. This bridge is no longer needed. This is also not needed then. Oh, wait. None of this is needed. Oh, that's so stupid. So, deconstruct all that. Including the bridge. Okay. This literally goes like this. We already have a bridge there forcefully because we need to have it. Now, I should be able to just remove this. Have that connected. And then have this bridge on. But we'll do that later. Actually, we could do that now. Now, at this point, I want the water to leave. Damn it. I could actually fit it in here now. No, we'll just keep it there. It should be fine. And then we have this water leave the system. And it both connects to go into the sieve. And then we store it into the loop that feeds back into here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so now this is above 24. And we're just waiting for the pipeline. Nice. Alright, so that should be good. This is ready. We just need polluted dirt. Alright, so now inside this room, we need the gases. We're going to get hydrogen right now, and then I'm also going to need an electrolyzer setup. Not electrolyzer, aqua tuner setup. So we're going to make it aqua tuner because I need it to keep the Draco room cool. Now, the upside is, is that I'm not really using it to cool anything else, or at least I don't plan to. So I don't actually will have to do like an intricate setup. I will make an intricate setup, though. <laughs> And then I gotta make these guys into their own room so that they don't expand the heat like they are doing right now. Have a, you're gonna leave for the night, Geek. We'll see you next time. Hope you have a great night. And of course, we'll catch you next time. Rest well, rest easy. Alright, so... How much power is this? 240, 120, 10. I'm only using one pump. And I will use the oxygen, I guess. I will... Could I do that? I'm going to use this room. We're going to basically make it so that this room stops here. And then we'll use this as an oxygen room. To dump the O2, maybe the H2 as well.
actually we'll do that on both sides. That makes a lot of sense. So copy settings. Which means I could remove this now. This room is just to make it so that the dupes don't walk past and get shot. It's always a bad time if the dupes are taking damage. Alright, now with that, I could technically... I don't want an infinite box. I really don't. And I know that I put the bridge here. And then I know we're going to need a filter. I think we're just going to do a lazy filter, to be honest. The actual lazy filters. Who would have thought? Now, I want to say that the oxygen should be cool. Because we're keeping the box cool. And it should be fast enough to chill it. So, the filtered output hydrogen gets released, which is fine. This goes into here. Play throughout infinite storages. No, I just don't want to make it because it's not going to be like something long term. It's temporary. <laughs> you know, as they say, right? It's it's only temporary. We're only using this for the time being. We're not going to use this long term. All right. So this is just going to need power. like that most likely and then this is going to be hydrogen nice how's everyone doing in chat today hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are doing fine but how is everyone man sorry about uh you know getting tunnel vision into the game we got a lot we need to do but how are you guys today man how's everyone's thursdays oh we could drop them off here as well even though it's not really a spot all right, we could remove the doors now so that they don't get cramped. And we don't need them opening doors constantly. Mighty Stoosh, I see you over there, man. All right, so we need the oxygen to come out. I want to say it should be okay. So we'll have another gas reservoir here for the O2. All right. And then of course this should be insulated. Just have that pump in. Hydrogen comes out and goes into here. I probably do need to mine this and extend the platform out. And then put another reservoir here. Alright. Guess everyone's doing alright, which is great, which is great. Nice, nice. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate all the support, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Just want to say my thanks for you guys. Did you try Diablo Immortal? Hell no, man. I'm broke. I'm not going to, you know, play a game that I know I'm never going to succeed in unless I, you know, put in money. Oh, oh, a dupe came in here. Started breathing. All right, man. We got to we got to ban these guys. Yeah, but you can never get good unless you spend money. <laughs> This freaking pit. Take him out, man. We need to sweep the egg. Stop idling inside like a bastard. For stories, a good one. Really? I haven't I haven't touched it at all, to be honest. 
I have not touched it at all. Uh, I will have to make a spot just to... Oh no, right here. Please sweep the egg. Please sweep the critter. Wait, what? Oh, no power. That's what's happening. That's kind of funny. No power. Come on, man. All right, let's move this guy first. Hopefully they move him. Explains how D2 get to three, uh, D3. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if I'll play it, though, to be honest. I don't really have time anyways, so I don't think I'd be checking that out anytime soon. No one? Come on, man. Aglarvis, can you get him? Nope, not allowed by schedule. Feels bad. The rancher man. Someone needs to grab this guy. Alright, so we did sweep out. There is the grub grub egg right there. That's kind of a pain. I guess we can allow them to start eating the foods here. Get him, Uglar! Nice! We needed you to move the pip. We did it. Alright, so no more access. This room is closed off. Drop the pip off. Get the pip egg. Nice, nice. And then... Yeah, we get to here. Oh, that long jump. All right. All right, so the next floor is one, two, three, four. And then we will mine this out. We'll allow the oxygen bubbles to get released. Makes a lot of sense. And then we'll move down a little bit. We'll start a door crushing setup right here. So that the CO2, chlorine, whatever it is down here that's the heavy gas, just gets bopped. Alright, here as well. Alright, so automation... I forgot to set this up. Should be just like so... Filter needs a little bit of power, which is the hamster wheel power. Once we're ready, we'll kick that on like that. The ethanol is down to 200 kilograms in due time. Hey, Pigeon, I see you over there coming in with the resub. Thank you so much for the 31 months. I see you over there, Pigeon. Appreciate that. Welcome back to the city. And of course, enjoy the emote. D20 dies at reviewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the 31 months. This guy's a legend. If you guys don't know Pigeon, he uh, roams the streets of New York with a all-bred chain around his neck. He has all the pigeons following him. And uh, he's known as the Pigeon Whisperer. All-bred everything, man. You know what it is. But thanks so much, Pigeon, for the long-time support, my friends. I see you over there. Is two years the longest batch possible? Uh, until I get partner, and then it goes up to 5, 7, and maybe even 10 years. But that's the partner stuff. I think I get up to 2 years right now? I forget. But I do know once you hit partner, you do get that expanded a little bit. I don't think they expected people to, you know, <laughs> stay affiliate for that long. Because the uh, longest badge, is, I think, is 2 years. I'm not sure. We'll have to, I'll have to check that out again. Maybe I unlock something. Who knows? But yeah. Thank you so much, Pigeon. I see you over there. How you doing, dude? How's your Thursdays going? Mamba is awake. He's licking my toes. We gotta release the oxygen. Mamba's awake and he wants my attention. Not right now, babies. Not right now. I could technically go like this, and it should be good enough. 
Nice. A little bit of hydrogen to get it started. Alright, we gotta get rid of the battery, actually. Went out to eat, then walked a long time on the beach, now chillin'. Nice. Hope you didn't get a sunburn, dude. I don't know if you burn easily, Pigeon, but yo, man. Sounds like a nice time. Dude, do you do you live near the beach? Is this guy stuck? Oh, he is. God damn it. <laughs> Flash almost died. 20 minutes. I my my brother um used to work by the beach. Like that's where his company was. And well not his company, the company he worked for. And you know what's the, the funniest thing? He's like, it sucks. I'm never working by the beach again. And I was like, why? Dude, you have to bring your own lunch. I was like, why can't you drive? He's like, no. When it's lunchtime, it takes you an hour to get out. <laughs> and it's like, by then, lunch is already over. And you're already, you're barely ordering food at whatever shop you were going to. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, it's so much traffic. It's stupid. You're, you're better off just walking to wherever you want to go eat. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, man. Working by the beach, terrible. <laughs> I was impressed, man. But apparently it'd be like that sometimes. Hi, Mamba. He's patting me. He wants his head rubs. These beaches aren't as popular, lol, or like there's no definite, no traffic problems. Okay, there's definitely no traffic. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, man, I thought the beach traffic was gonna be the same like how we have it over here. I'm sorry, you guys. Mamba needs his rubs. Dude, no, man. LA beaches? Come on, man. Our beaches are glorious over here. The beaches you guys see on the postcards, that's standard over here. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, so I gotta bop this. I'm gonna pick my door crusher over here. And let's see. I have water stockpile. That's nice. The system, I think, is starting to work. I just don't know the temperature of everything. And then I need the water to feed in. I think it's fine now. And let's start getting the feed. All right, so we're able to just filter out the oxygen and the hydrogen. So I want to see the temperature of the oxygen. It seems to be pretty temperate. It seems to mean that I shouldn't have to worry. So I will make a pipeline to uh, move a little bit of O2 right now. Looking at the breathability, it's probably going to be at the bottom. So I'm thinking we're going to make a pipeline. So... It's probably going to be a connecting line goes up all the way over to here. In which case, I think we just release at the bottom. For now. It's because I got to do something with uh, the oxygen. Now, I need the hydrogen. I just need to allow this to stockpile so it's closed loop. This also needs to be a 9525 so that it turns on properly. And this is... What? What do you mean? Insufficient hydrogen? You got it. You got it. We just got to kick on. Oh, it's because he's running the wheel. Uh, 10%. Hello? Ramble, stop. Stop. I need this to turn on, man. Now, I did want another one of these so that I could get the pipeline coming out. Extra hydro. All right, so we got the jumps for them. Now we need to take this out. I go up so I could buy in all this. Probably want to bob that for easier walking time. All right, now we could walk up. So now at this point, I probably want to set up my shearing station here. There's way too many dreckles outside. My God, these guys are not having a good time. And I need to probably reroute my conveyor route, which is fine. So what we need to do is, before I could even get the glossies running, I need to make an aqua tuner set up. So not only that, the shearing station is three tiles. So I could do that here. Oh, but I can't go in and out then.
Oh, we have to push in this wall slightly. I'm okay with that. So how much tiles is this? Five tiles. Okay, so I have to push that out, which is okay. I'm down with that. We push this out slightly so that we could use the space on this side, and then we use another layer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to do this. And I could do all that from that setup. And that's going to have to be the same here. And then we could remove a wall here and also get a wall set up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just realized three tiles tall atmosphere docks can contain up to 200 kilograms of oxygen, while gas reservoirs with 15 tiles only carry 150. Why the heck, oh man? Flew on. Dude, don't worry. Everyone has complained about the gas reservoir size. They go, why is it so big? <laughs> it's, it's ridiculously huge for no reason, man. You're exactly right. Gas reservoir, man, is one of the most inefficient buildings in the game. Like, they need to bump up this number, dude. 150 is not enough. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. You hate to see it, man. Alright, so the hydrogen is fine, right? Because it's just got to turn on for a second. Pumps up a little bit of hydrogen. Ah, you know what it is? Actually, it's fine, because this is hitting max gas pressure all the time. That's true. So we should be okay. We should be okay. Still better than batteries, though. That's true, man. Alright, so at this point, we do the... Orbital Neptune Genesis Beauty. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's different. It's different rockets. So this is space for a module for the parent rocket, Genesis Beauty. While this is the orbital Neptune. Uh, it doesn't work. Oh, and it auto falls down. Oh, and I can't build it. What? What a meme. Wait, so, so was. Did I get debated? Did I get debated? What happened? It pulled down my house. Oh, that's rude. Uh, all right. We'll deconstruct this, and I'll have to see if chat's right. Slow down the game and mash, mash spacefarer. Oh, you can only build one. So you can't mash building spacefarer. It doesn't work. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe once it's built, it would be a single rocket. Hmm. I don't have enough metal for another rocket platform. Feels bad. All right, let's make some copper. We'll wait for that. They def did they nerf exploits by fixing lag? Dude, that'd be funny. Try it at high speed. Maybe I'm not lagging enough. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's going to be possible. I'm nowhere close, I don't think. And we're out of salt again. Okay. Running out of salt's not going to be fun. As it means that I need to find more salt geysers. Oh man. Wait till it lags for a save. Okay, we can wait for that. Man, the things we do for modular housing. 
But was that post patch? Hori, is that post patch? Because I know I know there's a lot of weird exploits that used to happen pre patch, but now that the patch came out, I that might have fixed a lot of the bugs. It was post patch, so damn within the last two weeks. Because if it wasn't within the last two weeks, it was pre-patch. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'll lag, though, because I don't really lag at all. Because I have a mod that also reduces frame rate lag. So... I don't think I'll be able to do it, just in general. It's coming, though. No! No! I did it too early! No! God damn it, man. Alright, so... So I would need to deconstruct this tile, that tile. Yo, man. Grandpa's showing me the clips. I see one of the grandpas. Alright, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Thank you for the clips. Appreciate that, grandpas. It feels like it should work, right? I guess the game's just not being nice sometimes. Oh, that melted. That's why we can't reach it anymore. We do have a little bit more salt right there. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was mad. They, they, they grabbed my house, pulled it down like a vending machine. He's like, oh, B32. Yep, that's that right there. Since the modules lowers itself when the blocks below it are removed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, is that the game still recognizes both the space for modules as separate rockets, though. That's the problem. If they're separate rockets, it doesn't change anything. It needs to be separate, uh, the same rocket. No, it could drop, that's fine, but they're still separate, so it doesn't change anything. It's basically like... Uh... You have 20 dice as a max, right? You putting a dice on top of another dice, it's still two separate dice. Because that's how the game recognizes it, it doesn't help me. I need it to be the same dice when it's stacked. I see a flu on artificially create lag. What an idea. Unreachable module, that's fine. All right, let's stack it. Let's see what happens. It resembled me one great monument with only head and legs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like that. I see what you're saying. Okay, so we wait for that to be built. Let's try to set up the... Oh yeah, and these guys are crap now, right? Because there's only 91 tiles. Alright, so I need to get rid of the shearing station. And then... Hmm... This is a weird dilemma. 